Hey, we're back. We're live. Back with another Mixer stream. Mr. Tails, how are you? Good evening. Yeah, we're back and we're going to be doing some Bloodborne. And I still have color. Because the cam is not being touched. The USB cable, I don't have to touch the cable insert. And as long as I stay away from that over there, I think it will stay color for good. This means I can't use the upper fifth USB port. But I guess if it saves me 50 bucks for now, I guess it'd be good. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm kind of happy about that. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to do some more Bloodborne. I haven't been liking this game. This is pretty cool. I'm liking it. Not sure how far I'll get. You know. So we'll just check it out. See what happens. One thing I did not change on the stream. I was going to check it out and try to figure out why I don't get alerts for hosting messages on Mixer. But it does pop up in the chat. So... I guess if we get hosted by someone, at least I can thank them. Ah, I forgot to increase the bitrate. <laughs> okay. I'm a loser. Nope, I totally forgot about it. Um, I think it's still on 6,000. Yeah. Yeah. 6,000. <laughs> oh well. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow. Because I have today and tomorrow off. So I might test it out tomorrow. At 65 or 6,800. And uh, see if that makes a difference. It might not make any difference. And if it, if it doesn't make a difference. Then I might as well just keep it. At 6,000. 6, or I might even test it. Each time going down 200. Like 58. 55 just because I want to be at the sweet spot right where you don't see the jaggies and um, if I can just lower the bitrate enough to, to where it's you know decent all around for everyone to watch on any kind of device that is kind of what I'm going for and still make it look pretty on the uploads for the YouTube videos but you know whatever Hopefully when I upload this, or at least download the Mixer video later and I upload it, hopefully it will convert to 1080p because I am on 1080p. So, not sure what happened with you, Mr. Hill, but honestly, if that happened with me, I'd probably be like, nah, I'm not taking the time to, to upload again and delete it and upload it again have to wait for it to go through the system it's just whatever i mean you could do it at night i guess and then in the morning when you wake up check it out but yeah i don't know if it's worth if it's worth it if i have more viewers i probably would be like okay let's do it but i don't have enough people watching so 720p if it ends up being that so be it All right, let's, uh, let me take a look and see what we gotta do here. Change over. Also, all of my hotkeys for OBS or slobs, they don't work anymore. So what I'll have to do is recreate all the hotkeys on F1 or F9 through F11 or F12 none of those work anymore. So I can't just... I can't just, uh... click on something and... keep looking at the camera without... Let's see, what to click on? What scene? What scene? So I gotta... I gotta look over there to find what scene I need to be on. I don't know what happened to, um... the hotkeys. Anyway, so we're back in the game. And, uh, 
I'm just adjusting my volume levels here. How does it sound? Everything sound all right? It seems like we're back in business. I've not touched any of the volume levels. Hopefully the in-game sound isn't too overbearing. Before we get started, I always want to make sure that the weapon is completely upgraded. Or upgraded, repaired. Yeah, there's no repairs necessary. Alright. So, now I gotta think, uh... See, see, here's the thing. With, uh, with Dark Souls and with Bloodborne, there is no quest log at all. I mean, the only, the only information you have is just inventory stats and your system, like, options or whatever. So, right now, I have really, there's really no guidance on where to go or what to do next. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. So, last we were, you know, one thing that we could do is go back to the healing, what is it called? The healing chapel, healing tower. Just go there and go all the way to the basement because we never got to the bottom of that tower. We only got to the door that was halfway down. I'm thinking, I don't know if it's necessary or not, but... Um, there's something with Cathedral Ward that still needs to happen, and I'm not sure exactly what. I don't know if I've explored every nook and cranny of it yet, either. But we shall find out. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me talk to this guy again. Probably oh, makes no difference. Hunter. Alive and well, are ya? This here is a safe place. Stay as long as you like. But next time you're out on a hunt, remember what I asked. If you find any sane survivors, tell them to seek shelter at Erden Chapel. Because there's nothing to fear here. <laughs> uh, we, that's the same dialogue that person had before. So last time we went through this door into that whole tower. I don't know if it's worth it. Um, going in there. Oh, that's a good question. I wonder if the old echoes would still be there. Is, did I die? If I didn't die, it should still be there. Let's, let's see. Um, yeah. Let me, oh, I got to fight. I always forget there's just a bazillion guys to kill here. Right, then I went back the second time and went through the door. Right. So, in theory, the pile of echoes should still be there. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna kill this guy, and then we're gonna go down. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we can do. Because there's no point in going back up, because we already have gone up. Took a little damage there. Uh, let's see. I think we need um, a torch. Let me see how. How do we get the torch going here? Oh, here we go. There. I remember how to do it. Now. Boy, I don't. I don't know if the echoes would... I mean, in theory, they should still be there, right? Maybe I'm too pop. I'm too far up. I probably can't see it. I'm gonna have to drop down a little more. Maybe. 
So last time, uh, to get to the door, we had to go this way and jump down on that tiny little ledge down there that you see by my torch tip. But we're not, we don't need to go that way now. We can go this way. So hopefully, I wonder if I can make that jump. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> well, so much for the echoes. The echoes are now at the bottom. <sighs> okay. Well, here, let me pull up my, um... Damn. Ah, that's a good start. Where is... I gotta pull up the, uh... Where do I keep that? Oh, here it is. No, 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 that's not it. Shoot. I'm trying to find uh, where I keep the death counter. Gosh dang it. I wish I had a, a better way to do this. Huh. This is kind of annoying to do it this way. I have to, every time I have to do it this way. Pretty soon we'll be dying left and right, and then what I'll do is I'll just keep a tally on a piece of paper. And, uh, at the end of the stream I'll update it, you know what I mean? Because otherwise it's just it's going to take forever. Hey, wait, how do we get... Oh, here we go. Did the, did the death count update? I think it did. It's supposed to be on 24. You know what? I'm just gonna run. I don't need to kill half of these people. So really, the blood echoes are way at the bottom now. I think there's a way to run and and sprint, or sprint and then jump. This game normally doesn't have jumping, but I think if you double tap the O button on the PS4 controller, let's see. I guess you don't double jump, double tap the O on the controller. I think I only lost, um, 1400. Gosh dang it. Well, at least we are at a record 25 death. Maybe I'm trying to make uh, the jump too big. Maybe I need to find a closer platform to get to. I'm almost thinking that I'm trying to jump too far. You go like this. Let me try it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna start over here. And then you double tap O. Once you get going, double tap O. But I don't have that length to run on that one platform. That's the problem. So I think it, I think the uh, I was doing it right, but I didn't have enough to actually do the, the jump. That's what I think happened. Because this platform up here from... 
Oh, here's the blood echoes from last time. Okay. 99 of them. Okay. So, from here to here, I need to be able to double tap. Oh, but I don't know if I'm getting enough speed to get on the platform by the tip of the torch. So I'm wondering... Oh, stupid. I should have gone this way. I bet this would have been far safer. I figured there's some easy way to do it. And now I bet we can just jump down here. Try it. And then jump down here. Alright, we're slowly making our way down. Yeah, those blood echoes are long gone. You can't have two separate pools of blood echoes because if you get killed along the way, the former pile of blood echoes disappears and you create a new pile of blood echoes assuming that you're not running with absolute zero echoes on you anyway to begin with. Even if you have one blood echo on you, it creates a new pile that gets rid of the former pile. That's how that works. Okay, now we have trouble finding where to go. Hmm. here like this. Is that straight enough? See, I can't pan the camera over top of myself, so I don't know if I'm right above it or not. And this is going to be a long night. Okay. Uh, here, I should probably heal. Now that next jump or drop is pretty far. I can see no, that's worse. I can't see. I thought I could see better with without the flame, but no. See there it is. There there's another platform down there. God dang. Right down there where the where the tip of the torches. I just don't know if that's if I can make that fall. Boy, how do you get down there? Unless unless you have to come back later when when you have more more health that you can survive a bigger drop. There's no other platforms around me that is lower than where I'm standing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to drop down right here, I think. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk right off uh, still quite the jump I might be able to just jump on some of these like the pipe there and then because some of that stuff just breaks your fall and that way you don't sustain too much damage oh shit what is that thing it looks like it's facing the door 
He may not see us. I wonder if I can just double tap O right where I'm standing and just make a leaping jump. I wonder if that's possible. I uh, probably shouldn't try it. Let's just jump down. We're just going to drop down on that pipe and see if that breaks the fall. We're fully healed. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're at the bottom. Okay. See if we can find anything else here to loot. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'm a little nervous. I don't know how strong this this thing is, but we have no way no way out other than through that door. So I think they meant for this to be a fight to get through the door. can't even lock on. It's when I uh, press down on R3, it doesn't lock on. Let's see. Man, I pulled off a visceral attack. Holy moly. That was kind of random. Okay. Because normally you backstab him, but you didn't, you wouldn't pull off the visceral attack. Okay, so he's gone. Alright, let's see what this is. This, oh, it looks like we're back in town. I wonder if this is some kind of, uh, like shortcut somewhere. We may have already been around here, I just don't remember it. So, these houses that have lights under the door, and also a lantern posted outside, those usually are doors that have NPCs that have conversations. So we should probably talk, or at least, like it says, knock on the door. Wasn't much of a conversation, but whatever. So yeah, this is the only way. So we only have two pathways. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember being back here. Rumpled Yarnum hat and sweaty clothing. I'm, I guess you can wear it, but... Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. There's a guy around the corner. Oh, here, there. What is that? I don't like that. That guy looks tough. I think we're going to sneak past him. I don't recognize anything of this city. Oh boy. We got some trouble brewing. Probably going to get caught between that guy and these two. Oh, they're turning around? Oh, they went back. Okay. Cool. Let's go back over here then. I wonder where this elevator goes to. I want to find out where we are so then we can come back and finish up this place. Okay. 
no clue where we are. Oh, we're at Cathedral Ward. Oh, I know where we are. This is the back entrance to the entire place. I always wondered why I couldn't loot this item and how to get there. But that's where it comes from. So, once we jump down here, we have no way back than to go that whole way around again. So, I think we probably want to keep exploring before we jump down. I wonder where this goes. I want to find out how to get back here easier. What is this? This doesn't look good. Still a little concerned about that guy with the big rucksack. Or whatever that... This guy here. He's like, just waiting for something. Maybe I should wait for that other group to come back. No, they're not very bright. That's for sure. I'm gonna wait till they pass and then see if I can backstab this big guy. I uh, know, we'll see. Oh, a total visceral attack. Oh my god, oh my god. Holy hell. Alright. I alerted everybody. Unlock, unlock, un... whatever you call that. Oh, he blocked me. If you can pull off a perfect backstab, you have a chance to uh, have a visceral attack, which um, creates a bigger damage bonus, which is kind of nice. Ooh, Ooh we need twin bloodstone shards to upgrade our uh, our weapon. So that's a welcome find. I wonder what it would be like if I hooked up a uh, a heart rate monitor. Because <laughs> I feel a little... Yeah, I feel a little anxious. 
I wonder if people do that, if they hook up heart rate monitors. I've never seen a, I've never watched a stream that ha with someone that had that, but I bet if I would get a jump scare, you'd see the heart rate go up. Okay, so here's another red light. So let's, let's knock. Oh, wait. We came out of that. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I... I got turned around, I think. So now that everybody's dead in this area, I think we can explore pretty much every nook and cranny at the moment. Without fear of death, hopefully. So we went... So there's the elevator. We came through here. Yeah, and we came through that. So I think we're... I think we're pretty, uh... I think we're pretty much done. Maybe there is no other exit into this area other than dropping off. See, now I'm heading back. See, the light, the lamp is on the ground. So this is where we came out of. I don't know if there's an other exit other than the elevator um, up. Oh, wait. We haven't been down here. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, it's a total dead end. There's n hmm. Okay. Yeah, there, I don't think there's anything else to do here. So there's no rewards either. No loot, no nothing. Except when I killed that, that big guy, I got that frenzied... Uh, it's like a rune you attach to uh, your sword, to your weapon, in uh, back in town. So I guess we can, we can get out of here. So if we drop down here, that means that we can't go back unless we take that big long route around. Oh, there's a guy. Hmm. There's a ladder up there. I don't know if I've been up there or not either. We will have to um, explore this area. I kind of want to just get back into, into town. Oh no, not this again. Back to town. Oh, kill this guy maybe. Oh gosh! Wow, I totally missed that. I'm not hitting him. I don't know what blue elixir elixirs are for, but. I'll just loot it. Okay, so we're back. We're back at the lamp. I don't know if we need to go back to town or not. I mean, 4,000. We, we, we can't bank anything. We might as well just continue exploring because there's something here that we haven't done yet. Because I don't think I have anywhere else to go. This, this has got to be, there's got to be something more to this. I wonder if I should hire this guy. This is like a... Does this mean there's a boss nearby? I wonder if there's a... Just like with uh, BSB, you can hire the, uh, the NPC right outside of the boss fight, but... It doesn't look like there's a boss fight anywhere, but... 
let me go up. up here. I think I've already been over here. Yeah, I don't see a reason to uh, be up here. So here's the thing. Should I on, so I don't know where the boss is, but if there is a boss here somewhere, should I always summon the helper or try to do at least a few tries on my own without any, any help at all? I don't know if, um, if getting the helper, if it actually increases the hit points and the fight, if the, if the fight gets tougher. I don't officially know that, but... I kind of don't want to make the fight trivial either because the game is supposed to be difficult by, you know, by nature, by the challenge. That's the whole reason for the challenge. Oh, here comes someone. I'm thinking I... Oh, shit, there's two of them. I'm thinking I kind of want to try... Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Oh god. So those those um those white white things. Oh Oh, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck now. Why can they keep doing that? That's good. Okay. Maybe at least one by myself. Okay. I think I will too. Oh, look at that guy. Look at his, look at that scythe on him. if I can get to him without... Oh no, he's moving away! What? Oh yeah. Yeah, what is this area? Oh, there's a guy up top there too. Oh man, there's a huge... Huge guy up there, down there. Look at that, I performed a visceral and he was already dead on the first hit. seems a little tougher than the one that's on the stairs. I think I'm going to leave him alone. Okay, there's nothing else up here. See those big doors? What's a big door up there? That's got to be something, right? I think. maybe oh no this uh this sword's fast but it's not that fast it's not that fast but i guess
Okay, as long as I can keep 21 vials. So the reason why the two, the, the bullets is 20 and the vials are 21 in that kind of a green color. Um, yeah, they reward quite a bit of uh, echoes, these guys. Um, the 21 blood vials when you normally only carry 20 is that I have this rune equipped that says carry one additional blood vial. Um, I saw back at the workbench when I put it on last time. Gosh, okay, so that might be a boss. This might be a boss. Um, maybe we should check out... We'll go there in a minute. I want to make sure that we've seen all this. And then we can go back in. I wonder how many points I need to upgrade. See, it doesn't say. It doesn't say... It doesn't... See, I wish it would have said... Here, wait. It says level 46. Blood Echoes 7881. I wish it would have said Echoes needed to level up. I don't see that anywhere. That would be a very good piece of information because then that way you can stay out here and keep farming your blood echoes before making the trip back only to realize you're short 10. Wow, what is this area? Hmm. I kind of, you know, before we get, if, if that is a boss, it, it might be a door that doesn't even work. Look at this area. Maybe it maybe it wants us to think that that was a boss, but uh, not that I've tried the door. But maybe uh, maybe it will, it will say it doesn't operate from this side or something, um, and then we end up going this way anyway. But I'm just thinking, we already have almost ten thousand blood echoes. Surely that's enough to level up. And. It makes me wonder if we should go back to town. Oh look, there's birds on the roof. I'd rather go back to town and spend these things before I lose them. If it is a boss. Oh look. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ah oh, yeah, there we go. Huh. Wonder if we can get back out this way the way we came. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright. Like this. This doesn't feel good. There's something going on here. I'm kind of worried. So there was a lamp on the ground. So there's someone we can talk to. But look at the scorched ground. Try to talk to this person. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. 
Okay. There's another one. That's all they say. feel like we're going to be getting ourselves in trouble here. Oh, Jesus. What is that? Um. Hmm. Oh, boy. Did we stay in fight or what? I didn't even make it too far away. Oh god. Man, that did absolutely nothing to him. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna run. Man, this guy's fast. He wants my ass really badly. Oh my god, he's still here. Dude, go away. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Man. And he's walking backwards. Oh shit, he's coming. Why, why does this guy have such a huge aggro radius? What's the... What the wrong guy? Where is he? Oh, he's back there. good but I think this encounter was way too hard for our level oh man okay wow look at his clothing completely when you do the visceral attack it just like sprays blood everywhere I wonder if we should keep continuing or check out that door first I'm almost thinking we should check out the door first and then go on, because we're right here. Although I kind of don't want to lose my blood echoes either. Let's, um... Before... I want to see, um... I kind of want to see what our level up is, because we're going to lose it. If that is a boss, we're done. Maybe we should just kill this guy down here, and then go spend our money and then come back and just pass everybody run all the way up oh wow oh he uh just okay So we have 10,000. We might as well go spend it. Level up, and then we'll come back and we'll do the boss. At least once. Oh, we can kill this guy maybe.
Fuck you. back to town quick. Oh, we have one more, I think, over here. Oh! Wait, where are we going? No, that's, that's not the way. Wait, where are we? I get turned around so fast. Oh, here. I think we have to go this way. How's the stream still holding up? Oh, we can do this guy. Nice. What? Look at He has no health. He has no health. Unbelievable. enough to level up. Alright, let's get back to town. Oh, I never turned my um, stream preview off. Let it run. All right. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let me stand close. All right. So. So we needed twelve thousand. Thirteen thousand, almost. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, cause we're still doing. Um, I think we'll do Vitality and Strength for a little bit, and then we'll level up Skill. Maybe for now we'll do 25, 25, 25, and then go 30, 30, and leave Endurance at 25. I don't know. I don't know what the benefit is, to be honest, but I figure we can try that. Let's see, right hand weapon from 201 to 204, and skill, it's 201 to 204, so these two actually are identical, and this one, Vitality does absolutely nothing to your actual weapon damage output, and Endurance only increases your defense and your resistances, and your stamina. Yeah, I think I'll go with strength for now. Oh, what was that? It said give hair ornaments. Oh, that's right. Remember when we, uh, yeah, not a little bad run for echoes. Remember last time when we went to that alternate dream area? And we found this hair ornament. Now it says there's an option. Give small hair ornament. I wonder what that... I'm going to give it to her. What? What is this? I... I... Can't remember. Not a thing, only... I feel... A yearning. Something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter, could this be joy? 
<sighs> Tear stone. Hmm. Is that Welcome the option? The yeah, see the option gone. Farewell, good it's hunter. like this doll wants to become human May or something. You find your worth in the waking world. Let's see what the tear stone is. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, or even how to find it. Tear stone. Oh, here. Silver shining tear stone used to gain droplet blood gem. Used to change into droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. Doll sheds neither blood nor tears. Huh. I guess it can become some kind of um, socketed item. I guess we'll look into it later. Alright, let's see if we can uh, repair the weapon again before we go back out. Maybe we have some better gems now? No. No. There's nothing better. Nope. I think we're good. So now we have 674 left. We have full everything health. I guess we can go back and try to see if that door is a boss or not. See what happens. I should probably open up the text file permanently. If I open the text file, does the stream still run? Yeah, I think it still works. Okay. It's the, uh, it's a text file inside OBS. I just have the, the window open, so then I can update the number of deaths really quick. Because you know dying is going to happen. First, the first, the hardest part is getting to the, the door all the way up there without getting hit. That's the problem. I don't want to use any blood vials because we need every single blood vial we can get. But I'm kind of a little worried. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Oh shoot. No, oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. If this is not an, a door we can open... Oh, shoot! <gasps> no, don't kill me! I'm just trying to open the door, damn you! No! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, luckily they can't come after us. Wow. Okay. So it is a door. Okay, I guess we just go this way. We'll leave those guys alone. Wow. So the animation of the door opening, that, that basically gives you, um, uh, like you're indestructible for a few seconds while that animation's happening, which is good. I don't know what this is. I think this is the boss. The problem is, um, Okay, so we'll lose uh, the 674, which is fine. Um, we may have to go back. Or I'll try it a few times. If it doesn't work, I'll go back and get... Uh, what, was, what was the NPC name that you can hire? Henry yet or something? Boy, I don't know what this is going to be. 
Yeah, look at the size of this room. Yeah, look at these statues. That's a pretty good uh, grand entrance. All right, here we go. There's nobody here. Oh. You hear that? What's that thing on the ground? Look at, there's something right there by the tip of my blade. I can't put the tip right there, but there's somebody there. You can hear talking. I can't even understand what they're saying. Does the game sound loud enough? Maybe it's because they're so far away. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. I'm ready to uh, get my ass kicked. Let's do it. It's getting louder. Alright, maybe it's not a boss fight. Maybe it's an NPC you talk to. Oh. Oh boy. Or it's going to be a werewolf or something. Whoa. What's that thing she's holding? Okay. Oh shit. Vicar Amelia. Oh shit. Oh boy. Gosh, man. I'm not 
doing any damage. Maybe if I stay underneath it. I kept button mashing on, on, uh, <sighs> okay, okay. I guess the key is, to, like, to get her cornered or something, because she likes to jump, but if you can get her cornered, she would just cower, I guess, if she's over half dead. Um. Wow. Wow. I bet the uh, I bet the heart rate monitor would have been spiked. All right, let's see. Touch this thing. I mean, it still was uh, an interesting boss fight, and I like the cutscenes. It looks really cool, and I'm sure there's some kind of lore and story behind it of why this girl, woman, whatever, was transformed into this monster, but yeah, 130 beats per minute. Okay, so this thing now is glowing. I guess we have to touch it. Or inspect it. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Not exactly sure what all this meant, but maybe uh, it will be revealed soon. Okay, so I think this area is done. So we should probably go back to town and refresh up on blood vials because we only have 12 remaining. Unless we can go out there and... Well, that means we do have to fight our way out. That's no good. Yeah, because we have enough blood echoes for another level up. So we can level up again. So let's just... 
we should probably play it safe because they're just right outside the door. But I'm sure there's still something to do here in this cathedral ward because it's so big. There was another side area that we haven't explored yet. I still have to check that out. Oh, what is this? Where, the doll is gone, but there's a messenger here. Accept gift from the messengers. Eye of the blood drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. Hmm. I have no idea what this even means. Where is it? I have a blood drunk hunter. His pupil is collapsed and turning to mush. Ooh. Uh, a hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the nightmare. See, I don't know what this, any of this means, but let's uh, repair. Eighteen. My blade was only damaged for eighteen blood echoes. Okay. And then maybe we can do fortify. Let's see if we have enough. No, we don't. We need five twin bloodstone shards and we only have two. Okay. Okay, let's talk to the doll. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let me stand close. Uh, let's do more strength. I like the damage output. Physical defense goes up with skill. Oh, it, it goes up with strength too. So it's almost like skill and strength are almost the same values. That's funny. Hmm. It's identical. I don't know what we should do. Well, maybe I should just do strength till 25, have everything on 25. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. Okay, so now, I'm surprised I didn't die. That was interesting. Uh, let's see if I can find it quick. Add it to the dead list. Um, what was it called again? Vicar. Um, Ami Amelica, Amelia, I don't know, I'll have to look it up later for the correct spelling, because I don't remember. Dead. Okay. And then we don't know what's next. I guess we'll do question marks. Vicar, Amelia, and then question marks. Save, and it should update. I don't know. You'll let me know if it updated. Oh. 
Okay. So far, so good. Um, I still think there's something else to do in Cathedral Ward, but... Uh, let's see, so we went to the bottom of the tower, opened the door, and now we did this boss. The only thing is, we haven't done on the right side of the boss, where we got ran down by that that one mob that chased us all the way back. We didn't further investigate that side, nor did we investigate that one opening where I accidentally ran into at the main plaza. I think we should just go there, the main plaza. Um, I just want to check that door opening at the main plaza area where those two big giants are just kind of circling in the main area because there was a side area there that I had that I kind of ran into but I stayed out of and then maybe um we'll call it a stream once we figure out where that ends I wasn't going to go too long tonight but I just wanted to get a couple things done. Then again, who knows, maybe we'll fall down the rabbit hole and we'll have to stream another two hours. Oh, you know what? Why does everything look lighter? Normally it's way, way dark. Something changed. It never used to be this light out. Oh look, he's sleeping. It's like we're in the middle of the night or something. Like there's a... Oh, it's a full moon. Look at... That's what the light is. It's a full moon. I wonder if I should kill him or not. It would be an easy kill, but... He's just sleeping. Ah, oh, fuck it. Oh god. Okay. I <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Look at that. It's it's a complete full moon. And it's so bright, it almost looks like daylight. And it looks like it changed after we defeated that boss. It's kind of weird. Look, the smoke coming out of the tower. I don't know what's going on up there. I have no idea if any of this has any relevance to what we're doing now or not. Oh, there's a guy over here. Look at that gun he has. Holy! Okay. Wow. That's cool. He had a little flamethrower, I think. Alright, that's, um... The clock? Wait. What are you seeing? Oh. The clock tower? It's kind of glitching out or something. Is that graphically glitching or is it... I don't know what's going on. So what I wanted, yeah, I think it is graphically glitching or something. I wanted to go through that door where my head is. There's something over there that we haven't seen yet. 
Man, all these giants are sleeping. Let's see if I can pull off a visceral attack on this one. Nah, can't do it. No visceral. So we haven't been, uh, let's see, check out the, I don't see any hands on the clock. Yeah, I think it was just a kind of a graphical glitch thing. Hey, Ty the Spliff, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, the alerts work? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, for a while I thought they were broken because I never... Even when I, um, when I tested them, it didn't work. Hey, what's up? Hi, the slip. How are you doing? Oh gosh, what is this guy? I'm a little worried. Oh, what the hell? Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, I'm doing great. It's been a great night so far. I killed the boss. Which I didn't even think it was a boss, but... Ended up killing, uh the boss at the top of the stairs here in Cathedral Ward. I'm really enjoying this game. I just don't know uh, how much more will I be able to actually kill without getting frustrated and just being killed over and over and over. Since I'm not very skilled at games like this, but I'm willing to try it. Yeah, there's all kinds of action going on here. Do you have a question? So there's a, an American version and a Japanese version of Bloodborne? Or I guess I'm not understanding what what is the question referring to. The game or what? There's an NPC right here. Hopefully he'll be nice. I can't target him, so he must not be an enemy. Oh, he has a top button. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. There's are two different versions of Bloodborne. Um, from what I understand, Bloodborne came out first, uh, of course, in Japanese, I would imagine. Um, and then North America region got this as a PS4 console seller back in 2015, I think it came out. So I would imagine that there is a Japanese version and uh, an American version, yeah. I don't know if there's any differences in the gameplay other than the language um, localization. I think all the the game content, I believe, would be the same. No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't believe that there. It's just. It's just all it is is uh, language localization. It's just either Japanese um, spoken and uh, written text. Or English, or whatever language you choose. I think the um, the European version of this game has a whole li list of languages you can choose from, like German, French, whatever. This is the North American version, so I have no language selector. It's just English. So I do not believe any of the different versions of the game are either harder or not, because there's no there's no um, difficulty slider 
When you start a game, there's no easy, hard, normal. You just start playing. There, there's, from what I understand, there, there is no, um, there's no uh, difficulty level possible. The only way to go is up. Uh, from what I understand, when you finish the game, you have the option to do new game plus, new game plus one, new game plus two. Everything gets harder every uh, new story progression, um, every new playthrough. But other than that, I have not heard about the Japanese or our version being dumbed down and the other versions starting at like a harder difficulty level. I've not heard any such thing. Maybe if you go on uh, the Bloodborne Reddit, uh, they, they have a Reddit. It's very, I think there's a lot of people on there. You could actually maybe um, put a question in the Bloodborne Reddit and ask and see what they say. But again, I, I don't think there's any difference at all. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar yeah, with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. So a lot of this content that we're getting right now is, of course, lore and backstory and all that. But because we have no quest log or no reference to even what they're talking about, other than retaining this information right now, this second, I'm going to forget about what this guy even said tomorrow because I have no way to reference that in like a quest log or something. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood abandoned and decrepit and furthermore the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground it's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate hmm all right one more ah there's something I want to tell you a bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth, and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search. For the path to Canehurst Castle. Well, we exhausted every option, so I guess we just have to leave. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to do with that. And again, we have no quest log, so there's no way to even... figure out what we're trying to do. I'm just trying to go down pathways that I've not found yet. Uh, okay, I hope this door opens. I don't know what else to do because there's nowhere else to go, I don't think. Fear the old blood is the password. Try it. Oh. Okay. So this guy, 
ask for the password? Who said that then? Who who said the password? The hell, dude? Huh? Somebody else is here, isn't it? Or is it this guy the given? I don't know. Okay, I'm I'm done trying to figure that one out. Alright, let's go down here. Man, this is a long way down. He is. 50-50 shot. That is correct. Huh. Well, what is this area? I don't believe we've been here before. Forbidden Woods. We need to find a lamp though because otherwise if we die now we won't have a way to get back quick enough. So hopefully there's a lamp here somewhere. Oh, there's a guy down there. Look. He's waiting. The guy right by the sword handle. Damn. Oh, here's an item. It's just additional money. I would imagine we have to be kind of careful here. You never know what's lurking. Oh, there's a whole bunch of dudes over there. Man, so we have a, a whole new area and the area on the right side of the castle or of the ch of the cathedral. So those are two new areas to explore. Oh boy, there's a lot of people here. What is this guy? I don't believe we have seen this guy yet. Oh god, he Oh yeah, Ty, what what did it say? Is there is there a difference in the American versus Japanese version? What did it say? I'm, a, I'm actually curious myself. The only problem is I don't believe that you can choose English on the Japanese version. So you would, I at least, since I don't know Japanese, I would miss a lot of the story content because I wouldn't understand what's being said or what's on the screen. I couldn't read the stat page. I couldn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna try and get this guy. What? How can you still be alive? Look, that guy has no health, dude. What is wrong with this game? This, this guy has no health. Jeez, it's happened so many times. Wow, okay. I need to find a lamp. I can't, I, I don't want to go too far because you got to find a lamp somewhere. There's got to be a lamp somewhere around here. Japanese version has a shorter aggro for enemies and some of the armor buff and the language and some monsters don't give souls when you kill them. 
removed by catbot? What? What happened? Oh, the, um... Mr. Taylor, did you see Ty's, uh, mention here? Or did it get purged from everyone from view? I don't know what, what happened. I think copy-paste stuff. I think the bot that Mixer has is being dorky. Oh, okay. I gotta figure out why the bot does that. Again, I've not looked into anything. You sh restored it? Okay. For me, it just shows that it's crossed out, but I can still read it. Hmm. That was weird that the bot does that. But yeah, so the Japanese version has a shorter aggro for enemies. And some of the armor buffs and language and some monsters don't give souls or, I guess, echoes. Did you look this up? Is this... Is this the... Is this for Dark Souls or is this for Bloodborne? Because when it says don't give souls, that means it's a Dark Souls game. I guess it, maybe it's the same thing for Blood Echoes for Bloodborne. I don't know. I still think this game is tough as nails. I don't know. I don't know what you're going for, Ty, but um, I think if you haven't played this game yet, you'll be just fine with the American version. I think, unless you're, you know, unless you really know what you're doing, I guess. Oh, you looked it up for Dark Souls. Okay. Yeah, look it up for both. I mean, I. I just don't believe that there's really a difficulty difference. Um, you only played Dark Souls 3? Okay. I played uh, Dark Souls 3, the main story, up to... Uh, I'm, I think I'm up to the second to... Or the third to the last boss, which is... The prince, the two princes or whatever, there's a guy riding on his back inside uh, this this hall, this like castle. I think it's called two two princes or something, and I I haven't been able to defeat them yet, and so I haven't played Dark Souls in probably two years. So, just like with Bloodborne, I just started to, I fired it up like four days ago, I think, and um, started to play it again. So I might do that with, uh, with Dark Souls too. Oh, hey, look. We got ourselves a lamp. Nice. Okay. So we have a lamp. So, instead of going that way, I guess, over the bridge, let's... Let's do a little bit more exploration where we came from. see where this path leads. Yeah, how did you uh, like Dark Souls, Ty? Mr. Tails hasn't played any of these games, but he did buy uh, Dark Souls 3 on the Steam sale, so hopefully he can try it out one time. Oh, I hear something. Something big. Listen to those footsteps. Oh gosh, what is that? Look at that axe. Look at the size of that axe. Oh boy. Can we do it? Oh god. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Okay, so I assume there's no difference between versions because everyone on Reddit is just comparing it to Dark Souls, yeah. The only thing I know, um, 
Oh, really? That that many echoes? Holy smoke. The only thing I know, um, the, the main difference between this game mechanically is that, so in Dark Souls, you have the, the parry system where you parry and then you can get a swing in, parry. In this game, there's no parrying. All there is, you can do what's called a visceral attack from behind and it does an exponential amount of damage or um, you can do uh, I guess what, see if you have a dual weapon set up here you can you can stun them with your pistol and then pull off a different move with the other hand so the um, what was I gonna say the fighting style is much more aggressive and then at the top where you see the little health bar go back you have a small window of chance to regain that health uh, by quickly attacking so the game really encourages you to constantly be on the offense which I kind of like I kind of like this style of play oh you've watched game grumps play bloodborne I think you'll like it. If you like Dark Souls, I this game is really nice, and I like it because it's very um, kind of dark and gritty, and more like Lovecraftian, uh, Victorian-style crazy stuff, you know, that kind of thing. I I think it's visually very very pleasing. So yeah, I think you should pick it up. Uh, Dark Souls is just more in the realm of, you know, medieval style, uh, that kind of thing. And plus, the, the play style in Dark Souls is very much dodge, dodge, roll, dodge, roll, parry, attack. So, this is just attack, 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 roll quick, attack some more, try to get behind, do a visceral, you know. So, it's very uh, hands-on, I feel. It's really fun. However, guys, I have not been in a situation where I'm just dying over and over and over to a boss yet. So, so I, yeah, the lamp, I already, I already enabled it. It's already on. I found it earlier as we were talking. I was like, hey, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's the lamp. Um, so, yeah, the only, so the list of bosses that I have killed so far, I think, there's four of them, right? Let's see. Yeah, Cleric Beast, Father G, Witches, Blood Starved Beast, and then Vicar Amelia we got tonight. But I've not got stuck on a boss so long that it became, like, frustrating and wanting to throw the controller on the ground, that kind of thing. Holy... This one bird took all my life. That's insane. There we go. Alright, let's see what's over here. Oh, shit! God, the birds are so... Uh, able to hide so well. Damn. Oh, hello. You got stuck on the first boss in Dark Souls. Oh yeah, on uh, on Gundir. What is it? Whatever his name is, Gundir, the um, what we like to call the tutorial boss. Holy shit! Absolutely. That guy has a reach from here to Tokyo with his uh, with that halberder, whatever he uses. Damn. That thing's crazy. Oh no, come on, the door doesn't open. Figures. Okay. Yeah, gun deer was not, uh, not fun. Oh, you gotta go? Tune in tomorrow if you stream? Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Um, I'll probably, well, I have the day off tomorrow, so I'll probably be streaming early. Like in the afternoon or whatever, but. Hey, if you, uh, if you swing by and, uh, catch me then uh, cool 
thanks for the follow, and uh, have a good night, Ty. See you next time. Let's, uh, I think this might be a good place to uh, go back, spend our echoes. Oh, you know what? I bet we need about 13 or 14,000 to level up. Let's kill a couple guys on the bridge here and then go back and level up. Seven hundred echoes per kill. Oh, God, dang. Okay. Check out what's over here, quick. Oh, there's an item. See, it always pays off. Oh, look at that. We got twin bloodstone shards that we need. That was the slowest bullet you've ever seen. Or that was the quickest reflex that you've ever seen. It, it made the bullet think that it was going slow, but it was me. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. Holy... What the hell was this? My God! Oh look, I would have, I would have fallen off a cliff. Wow. Okay. I can't just. Uh... Oh, the thing's gone off the chain. Oh, this must be a pressure plate or something. Gosh dang it! Man. Okay, I'm a, I'm totally awake right now. He whiz. I think we need a heart rate monitor. That thing would have spiked. Oh, here, we got another one of those dudes. Oh, goodness. These guys have a powerful reach. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. We need about 13 or 14,000 to level up. Oh man, there's a whole camp of these people. Why are they staring at the... They're looking the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go down there yet. I'm getting too deep into this new area. We just need to go back and uh, level up. Oh shit. I hear something bad. There's something bad. Yeah, I'm not going that way. You know, constantly this exploration, the exploration part of the game is so so well done in both Dark Souls 3 and this game. Exploration is like the main component to the game because it makes you scared, but yet you kind of want to go further, further, further each time. Even though it creeps you out and you don't want to die, you still want to continue. Alright, we're going to go back to town, and uh, I think we have enough to level up. Alright. Whew, man. I had a couple jump scares today, and uh, the Vicar Amelia fight was fun. I'm glad we got through that. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let me stand close. Oh no, I'm I'm short. About six hundred. Let me see if I can um sell some of this cold blood dew or whatever.
Oh yeah, we have more than enough. I like to keep a little bit on me just in case for next time. Let's see. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me stand close. What? Look at this. I'm sure one blood echo. It's a little weird. Alright, fine. Sell all of them. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me... Alright, so let's just do, um... I think we'll do... Vitality and Strength to, to 30. So I kind of want to not do anything in endurance right now because it seems like our stamina seems pretty good except for on the Vicar Amelia fight where I just continually was out of stamina for swings but I think I'll um hmm again both strength and skill is the same values Yeah, let's go up strength. Farewell, good hunter. All right, let's uh, repair. Can we fortify anything? No. Look, we're only short one twin bloodstone shard for our next to get the our blade to plus five. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Anyway, I think uh, this is a good stopping point for tonight. Got a little bit of action in. So I think this will, uh, will do it for now. And, uh, slow but steady, you know, whatever. That's, uh, feels good. Slow but steady pace. You know? So I think that, uh, will be it for tonight. But, um, I might do it tomorrow, um, eh, mid-morning. I might stream a little more. And I'm going to upload or download uh, the file later tonight and see if I can upload it then early tomorrow morning when I get up and see if that same thing happens, uh, that it won't convert it to 1080p, but to 720. I think it's just a glitch. I think it just something happened during the upload or something. I don't know. But I'll test that out. And before I log off and close... OBS, I'm going to remember to up the bitrate to uh, like 6,500. How, how do you think it felt now, uh, even during like the Amelia fight where stuff was kind of happening? Did it look a little blocky or no? Or was it fine? Maybe, maybe even raising it won't do anything because it's not being raised enough to offset the jaggies necessary. I don't know. Because M Bank, M Bank really needs quite substantial, like nine or ten k, and we're not gonna get that get that high. So maybe, maybe to be honest with you, maybe I should be testing it out, lowering the bit rate so that I can find out where my perfect window is. Because the idea is to have a perfect looking stream, but yet a stream that anyone can join on any device. That, that's generally the idea. 
of trying to get the best looking stream to where most people can join and watch. Well, I think this will do it. Man, I, I still feel a little pumped. I, I kind of want to play, continue playing, but I know that with that whole Forbidden Forest, or Forbidden, what is it called? Forbidden Forest, whatever. It would open up a whole new can of worms. Who knows, that's probably another two, two hours of exploration and possibly dying and stuff, so. I'm thinking this might be the perfect spot to just call it a night. Oh look, the uh, the intro is playing. I really like the uh, the Victorian style. This looks this game is really really well done for 2015. It's held up very well for five years, almost five years old that it is. I kind of forgot this whole intro, what it even looked like. Bunch of zombies, zombie people. Hmm. It kind of looks weird watching this, but then hearing like 80s chiptune music. That's a little strange. I don't know, man. You might... I think you might enjoy this game. It's its a lot of fun. And once you find the weapon that you like and the moveset... Because every weapon has its own moveset. I just kind of like Ludwig's Blade. Or uh, Ludwig Holy Blade. But um, you may like the Saw Blade, for example. Um, I started with the Hunter Axe. And uh, the Hunter Axe I really like because you can do that little whirlwind spin. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot that you don't have your PS4 hooked up. Yeah. You can figure out something else for now. Until you get situated uh, with whatever you're doing. I mean, you'll have the PS4 for a while and even still this game will be backward compatible on the PS5 if you ever get that in the future too so it won't matter. I'm pretty sure that this game they're making backward compatible because this this is such a big Sony game that you know for sure they're going to make that work on uh, the next gen console. I don't know that they're going to re-release the game with better graphics. I think they're just going to make it backward compatible. Which is fine with me, because, again, the graphics hold up just fine. Anyway, I'm out. Uh, I'm probably getting tired a little bit. If I get to bed earlier, I could probably um, stream at a reasonable hour, maybe 10 a.m. or something. So, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Anyone else, thanks for the follow, Ty. Catch you all next time. See ya. Adios. Thank you.